All right, this is going to be an example of a U substitution, but it's kind of a tricky one. So let's take a look at what I mean. So we have the integral of x cubed radical 1 minus x squared dx. So it's one of those where there's nothing really obvious that you should do. Um, so what I usually do is let whatever's in the radical equal U. So I'm going to go with U equals 1 minus x squared. And I'll go through the process. I'll find du, which is negative 2x dx. Now this is interesting because du uh, or dx has an x uh, multiplied in, so I'm going to have to do something uh, a little different from what I usually do. So I'm going to make this negative one half du equals x dx, and now I'm going to look at my original integrand, and I see that x cubed, and x cubed can be rewritten as x squared times x, so and then the radical one minus x squared dx. So now I actually have my x dx, so let's rearrange this again. So I have an x squared that I need to deal with. Um, x squared is not immediately obvious, but if you take a look at what we said u was equal to, 1 minus x squared, I can actually solve that for x squared, um, and end up with x squared is equal to 1 minus u. And now I have things that I can substitute in. So, uh, to make it a little more explicit, I will rewrite the integral, or the integrand, um, so I can just sub right in. So, x squared is 1 minus u, and then, uh, 1 minus x squared was u, and then x dx is negative one-half du. So those are all the substitutions that I'm going to make. Um, now I'm going to integrate it, and it's actually, it's not really a bad integral, um, but I am going to take the answer and factor it a bit. So here's what we have. Um, step one, pull out the negative one-half. I'm going to distribute, and uh, remember radical u is u to the one-half, so the distribution will give you u to the one-half minus u to the three-halves du. I'm um, going to reverse power rule on this thing now. So negative one-half, the quantity, I get two-thirds u to the three-halves minus two-fifths u to the five-halves, and then I throw in a plus c, because I took an antiderivative. Um, I can distribute that negative one-half, which seems like a good idea. So uh, the signs change and the twos disappear. So I get this. Now, uh, you might be happy with this answer, so I'm going to put a little box around it. Uh, right there, you might go back to uh, x values. So remember, u is one minus x squared. Maybe be done. But I look at that thing that I have there, and I notice that I could factor it. So what I'm going to do is take out u to the 3 halves, and it'll leave me with this. Um, now I'm going to get a common denominator. So that gives me 3u minus 5 over 15. Um, now I'm going to remember that u is 1 minus x squared, and I'll substitute back in. So I end up with this, and it's kind of a lot of writing. Uh, ooh, I forgot the plus c there. Um, so... I have this, I'm going to distribute and put back in my plus c, which I never should have forgotten, but I did. Um, and then finally I'm going to take out a negative 1 15th. And I just like the way that this answer looks better than if you stop at that previous boxed answer. Um, so I would go with this, and that is an example of a slightly trickier u substitution uh, because of the x that went with the dx that wasn't explicitly given, I had to factor a little bit. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.